what's my name? <laughs> I said, well, what's my name? And I said, God, yeah. I said, yeah. say my name. This ain't my name. This ain't my name. I said, oh, you're damn. Welcome to the start of a new vlog. My name is Nezi. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Today is Sunday. Happy blessed Sunday, guys. It is 9.30 a.m. I just got myself ready. I'm going to start walking again. If you guys are new to my channel, I started walking maybe last year. I tried to do three miles a day. I was actively doing it. Three times a week, maybe four, I stop. You know how it goes. You stop, you go, you stop, you go. Ugh, yeah, I, I hate that about me. I know many people go through that as well. Hubby right here and his bear's uh, attire is going to bike ride. We both have bikes, but um, I want to walk and he's going to bike ride. So, yeah, let's do this. And happy football Sunday as well, guys. We'll see you guys in a bit. Monday, it's October 28th. It's about two o'clock. I'm working and just sitting here. I've been in my room practically all day. I'm a little, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. First of all, as I mentioned before on my channel, I don't like to come on here and talk about politics. I don't. But I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off because yesterday there was a rally for Donald Trump. And Madison Square Garden in New York City. And this clown by the by the name of Tony Hinchcliffe, I believe that's his name. I really don't care what his name is. If I'm pronouncing it correctly or not, I don't give a damn. Decided to go on the podium and say that there's a pile of garbage floating in the middle of the ocean and it's called Puerto Rico. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, was this supposed to be a rally or a comedy show? Even though that so-called joke was very distasteful. Not only did it piss me and 
millions of Puerto Ricans, it hurt my heart because Puerto Rico is not a pile of garbage. Puerto Rico is a beautiful island. If you've never been to Puerto Rico, please go visit Puerto Rico. Not only is it a beautiful island, but we have the most amazing, amazing. It just, it, I, I'm, I, let me tell you something. When I, when I, when I'm pissed, I cry. So please excuse me. We have the most amazing, humble people in Puerto Rico. I'm not saying everyone's perfect because no one's perfect. But if you go to Puerto Rico, I promise you, you will bump into someone who is so humble, who will offer you coffee or something to eat. I don't know what was the purpose of that clown saying that Puerto Rico was a pile of garbage. Puerto Ricans who live on the island or Puerto Ricans all over the world are garbage as well. We're Americans. We vote. Okay? Puerto Rico is not a different country. It's part of the United States. Why was he picking on Puerto Rico? Not only did he pick on Latinos, he picked on black people as well. During that rally yesterday, I didn't watch the well, I didn't watch it, but I've been seeing clips on TikTok and Instagram. The under oh. this has been this election has been to me uh, okay in all my years of living I never in my life has seen have seen an election like this pisses the hell out of me and it's all over social media I'm sure you guys heard for that man to say you know, that we keep reproducing and, and this, that, and the third is irrelevant to the election. I mean, make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. He owes millions of us Puerto Ricans an apology. He does. That was wrong. That was wrong to the core. I'm just sitting here. It just, it's, it's like a sad day for me. I don't know. I'm angry, but I'm sad too because there are people out there Latinos who are for that clown. And if this doesn't open your eyes, I don't know what will. Back when Hurricane Maria, you guys remember Hurricane Maria? Thousands and thousands of and thousands of Puerto Ricans died. Why? Because of the man that was in office. Because of Trump. I'm gonna say because of Trump. He went to our island and threw paper towels at people like they were animals. He wanted to sell Puerto Rico to other countries. I just wanted to come in here and express the way I felt about that comment of, one, of what that clown said on that podium and it's important guys is important because it's not only the latinos it's the blacks it's the asians i'm not gonna say no more i'm not gonna say no more i'm just gonna ask to please go and vote if you can please go out and vote Esta es la crónica de una estrella que saltó desde el fondo de un gran volcán debajo del mar hacia otra galaxia. Es la crónica de una leyenda que representa lo que late en estas latitudes. Allá arriba, entes celestes pintaron un archipiélago acá abajo.
nació una raza recia. Es una historia que se empezó a escribir incluso antes de que Irán Bison fuera el primero en pichear y de que Roberto Clemente y Peruchín Cepeda le hablaran español al universo. Ah, en el día más grande de mi vida, para los nenes de la bendición mía y que mis padres me echen mi bendición en Puerto Rico. Se escribe antes de que se volviera inmortal todo esto. Desde Cooperstown. Desde mi querido Vega Baja y la isla del encanto Puerto Rico. Hasta Dorado donde Edgar y Yadier todavía hacen sueño. De hecho, es una historia que se narra todos los días. Tu mamá y tu papá vivían esta historia cada mañana cuando te llevaban a la escuela para coger después el tapón para el trabajo. Es la misma historia que escribieron Lola y Agüeybaná cuando no se dejaron meter las cabras de los invasores. Esta crónica la escribe Missy Rodríguez en una pizarra de un salón de una escuela de las que no se han vendido. Este es el relato de la raza que sabe lo que fue la noche de anoche. Sigue a lo moribí, resistente y pico. Y de la mano de los que vinieron antes, defendemos nuestra playa, nuestra universidad, y nuestra niñez. The passion of, of doing, of producing, of thinking, of, of dealing with, with uh, making the world a better place. Porque es que las leyendas que laten en estas latitudes no se dejan. Miriam Colón. Vamos libre de odio, eso sí. Lo que pasa es que esta raza no es pendeja. Esta es la huella de los bueyes que salieron del balde. Pero siguen en el barrio contra viento y marea. Y nos vestimos así, como hizo antes Luisa Capetillo y como hacen ahora April y Nina. Aquí tenemos las faldas y los pantalones bien puestos. No sé si me entiendes. Pero esto va de cora, porque esto no es de ahora. Hace tiempo que somos una constelación de Julias, de Silvias, de Amanda. Hace tiempo que somos un arrecife de Wilfredo, de Miguel, de Tito. Somos reyes, reina, campeones. Somos leyenda. Todos tenemos una meta, una aspiración, una cumbre. Y tú la vas a lograr. Gracias, buenas noches. desde abajo sin ahorro y partiendo el ahí bendito acá seguimos a las millas esta crónica va escrita por luceros que saben brillar en el Olimpo Supreme Court of the United States. Welcome to the court. fluidez de oro Monica Puig has become the first gold medalist from Puerto Rico. Es el ADN de lo que late en estas latitudes lo que ha escrito esta historia. Este es el archipiélago leyenda al que perteneces. Yo soy lo que tú eres.
guitarra de Juan Tisol, Daniel Santos, Roberto Ruena, Daniel Rivera, Ernita Nazario y seguimos y seguimos. Tierra de la bomba, la plena, la salsa, reggaetón y todo lo que te dé la gana bailar. Maelo. La maceta. Baile maceta. Cheo. Pandi. La voz. Yankee. René. Calderón. Bad Bunny. Él no es el mejor en estos días solo por ser Bad Bunny. Sino por ser Benito. Por ser Boricua. A nosotros nos sale natural ser leyenda, porque al final no hay orgullo más grande en cada logro que el de decir yo soy de P. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's about 5:30. Um, I went into work today. Diesel just picked me up, and my mother-in-law is here. They're in Walgreens right now. My mother-in-law wants to get something for her allergies, so. I know I look a mess, I have no makeup, my hair's a mess. I look, I don't like the way I look today, so please excuse my appearance. We are about to take mom to dinner. Today's her birthday, happy birthday, mommy. So we're gonna go eat dinner. Her request is steak and shrimp, so if steak and shrimp is what she wants, steak and shrimp is what she's going to get. I work from the house tomorrow, and yeah, and then I just can't wait for Friday. Oh my God, this week has been, I don't know, it's been a little rough. It's been a little rough with everything going on in the world. I just made an appointment for Diesel and I for our annual for our annual eye exam. So we are going Saturday for that. Um, I might get some new frames. I mean, I have frames at home, but I want a different color pair of frames. I have either black or the burgundy ones. And then I have those clear ones, which I have to change the lenses. But um, yeah... That's all that's going on. I'm just waiting for them to come out. All I had today was um, a yogurt with... No, let me start with breakfast. Actually, so yesterday, I had my bag of lunch. I had a little bit of tuna fish with some crackers, with four crackers, the export crackers, export soda crackers. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I had um, a yogurt with some mixed... Uh, that sugar-free mixed granola thing. But my lunch bag was pretty packed, you know, with little snacks here and there, like healthy stuff. Well, I forgot it yesterday, so I left it for today. I told Izu to put it back in the fridge. So today for breakfast, I had the peanut butter and jelly sandwich on whole wheat. And then for lunch, I had the yogurt with the mixed granola. And that's all I had because I knew we were going out to dinner. Well, it hasn't rained here since Hurricane Milton. It hasn't rained here since Hurricane Milton, but today looks like it's gonna rain. It's a little cloudy out here. It's like an overcast. And my car is dirty and the car wash is right here. And what I wanted to do was actually go wash my car while they were at Walgreens, cause it's right here. It's right like side by side, but like I said, now I'm thinking about it. It looks like it's gonna rain. Birthday in the house. <laughs>
Yay! Yay! Story time! All right, boys and girls, it's story time. This one's about my uncle, my uncle Junior. My uncle Junior, my father's brother, bro, only brother, youngest brother, is cheap. This man is cheap. This man, I'm talking cheap, cheap, cheap junior. He should be, damn, should be, you know. Come bring his own tea bag and and, and and food to, you know, the restaurant. I was like, come on, man, like, what are you doing? Nah, I'm trying to cut the corners. He goes, you don't know about that. You don't know. You, hey, I'm junior. You don't know about. You don't know about junior. See, you don't know junior. I said, okay, whatever, Mr. Junior. So, my uncle, like I said, is cheap, and he exaggerates. The time my grandfather had passed away, uh, he had to get his gravesite moved from one from one to another because the one that originally where he was buried at was being condemned. So I went down, you know, when they went and dug up, you know, the coffin and replanted to the new cemetery. So it just happened to be where my uncle says that, yeah, yeah, nephew, you want to take you around? I have a couple of homeboys that pass on me that owe me money. I said, oh, you might, yeah, they owe me money. Yeah, they think they got away, but I, I got something for them. Uh, let me go show you. Yeah. So, see this man, see this over here. This this, this is my fat friend. Uh, this ninja came over my house, ate about 80 crabs. <laughs> 80 crabs. <laughs> owe me $100. He don't say dollar like, or dollars like, like no, he said dollars. Like, if it's a dollars. <laughs> owe me, owe me $100. And myself, man, you. Tell them lies and owe you a hundred dollars. Yeah. Owe me a hundred dollars. See this over this door, man. This dude came over my house, drank all my goddamn liquor, nephew. <laughs> all my <laughs> liquor. <laughs> my Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> I owe me forty-five dollars. <laughs> I owe my money. <laughs> I want my money. I said, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you young? <laughs> this is a cemetery. I don't care what man. Don't be money. I said, well, he ain't giving it to you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this fool over here lost a game, crack game with me. Thirty-five dollars. I die me before even I can get it. I'm Junior, damn it. Junior's my name. <laughs> the night when all of a sudden he, he called me up. He called Uncle called me up. So I said, hey, uh, hey, uh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said, what's my name? <laughs> I said, well, what's my name? And I said, God damn. I said, yeah. Say my name. This ain't my name. This ain't my name. <laughs> I said, Uncle Junior, you're damn. He's like, Junior, Junior, Junior. Me on the phone. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm Junior. That's what I'm. That's what's wrong with me. <laughs> Randolph Junior said, ah, Junior, 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 Junior. I said, all right, oh, yeah, Junior. Okay. Oh, like you're the first Junior that ever is. Ooh, child. This was going on about 15 minutes. I'm yelling, Junior. Randolph Junior sitting on there. Drink Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> You heard me, nephew? Yeah, I heard you. Johnny Walker back. I don't know Johnny Walker back. That's what Johnny said anyway, because he keeps saying that. So, so my mother and my aunt used to always go out a lot. They used to always go to their club, right? GPS, GPS, GPS club, you used to call it, right? Yeah, yeah GPS. So in New York, you know, they have a lot of private cab services. So I remember that one particular cab service called Black Pearl. So and my uncle, Uncle Alvin was a very uh, jealous type guy. So. <laughs> I guess it must have been real late at night, like probably four in the morning. I guess they were coming home from, you know, they were partying and stuff like that. So at the time, my uncle was figuring he was gonna hopefully catch my aunt, like if she was doing something. So he's hiding in the bushes. This is the summertime now. If you picture in July, he's hiding in the bushes, and you know nothing but 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 gnats and, and mosquitoes all over. Now my, my uncle was about light as me, if if not lighter. 
And man, all that time he's hiding in the bushes. Them mosquitoes was tearing his butt. Oh, tearing his up. He said, I know they're gonna come on soon. <laughs> <laughs> She think I'm stupid. I'm gonna catch all. He said, "Shit, we stay hurry up, though." <laughs> 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 so I said, "He got out the car." He said, "Mm-hmm, mm-hmm." He said, "Hit that ass right now." Uncle <laughs> 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 short, so he can cross with a boat. So all of a sudden, <laughs> this mother said they can't walk it up. All some uncles said, "Ha ha!" <laughs> She always started, you mean to tell me the album was in them bushes with them mosquitoes? She said, so she was from, she was from South Carolina, so she always had the southern accent, a little yeah. slow. When it comes out, certain time, not all the time, when it come uh -huh. out, you mean to tell me the album was in them bushes with them mosquitoes? <laughs> <laughs> so told her, his daughter, Kiwana, and Kiwana's wife, is my, you know, closest cousin, all my cousin, so. So, so Kiwana goes whisper to me, and you know, I got a crazy laugh. Most of y'all heard my laugh. Mm -hmm. And Kiwana talk about, did you see Daddy's stilettos? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> and at the time, my uncle, her father was on the phone with my other uncle. So you know, Uncle Alvin was real sensitive, especially when he come about his height. Don't never don't talk about his height. Because he's very sensitive about that. Yeah, yeah. So he know we were laughing about him. Because I started laughing hard when she saw him whisper in my ear. And he goes, he said, yo, Gus, my uncle, Uncle Gus. Yo, Gus, let me call you back. These two fools are talking about me. Because <laughs> right? back in the days, they used to wear the, the boots, the little zipper boots. And my uncle had some lips in them. Because <laughs> he always used to say, yeah, that's one thing about you and your father and your uncle. All y'all taller than me. He goes, that's the only thing I, I hate about the fact you guys are taller than me. He goes, I hate you guys. You guys look taller than me. I didn't notice he was a little taller yeah, than normal. So he had some lips in his shoes. He had little zippers and some boots on the side. Yeah, cans and, and then he wanted to call them stilettos like high heels. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to end the vlog. If you are new to my channel and stay to the end, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video, comment, and please share the video. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you are notified when I upload a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe. God bless. Adios. Me and my people be rolling. Keep it going, doing your own.